This is what things look like behind the scenes. It's not all glamorous. Hi, this is Gabe. This is what my first response video looks like. I should have done this a long time ago. For now and forevermore, I'm gonna follow up my videos with responses to your comments. Chris has thankfully found some of the loveliest comments that he could muster, so we're gonna take a look at those. We're gonna keep it cash. Keep it cash. Is this the gesture for keep it cash? We recently talked about Puerto Rico, and a lot of you wrote back, especially people in Puerto Rico. And I read through all the comments, so did my family members. It was really awkward, but we had a great time doing it. Montanez C1 wrote, explain why mofongo is just nasty. There's literally nothing nasty about it. Have you even tried it? Can you qualify that statement? Who ruined mofongo for you? Was it Guy Fieri? And fucking Guy Fieri like discovered Mofongo in Miami for the first time, watching his like grubby little red hands smush plantains and then eat them, and then be like, whoa, this is so good, I've never tried this before, was traumatizing for me. I actually wrote about it for Flama. Uh, hopefully they'll put a link underneath me when I say this. Ruby Bonilla writes, OMG Gabe, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, love this video. I want to hear you speak more Spanish. And then like a bunch more exclamation marks, which is cool. Saludo desde República Dominicana. BTW, why do people get Dominicans and Puerto Ricans confused? Dominicans and Puerto Ricans share great things. We both make great mofongo. We both share reggaeton. We both speak a little too fast for Americans. But honestly, most Latinos should not get us confused. We're mad different. Like if you've ever heard a Dominican speak, like I dead ass can't understand Dominican Spanish. I have several cousins who are from the DR. And at family gatherings, I just like smile and nod. Amado Veloz wrote, We want to see your grandma on the show, please. Amado, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to bring her to the Flama Studios and I'm going to put her on the show and she's going to tell you shit that I never wanted to be out in public. I am most nervous about her mentioning things I did before the age of 17. I like had such a thing for cross-dressing as a child. Let me tell you, nothing will freak out an old Catholic woman more than finding her grandson in a wig and one of her dresses. Bastian Videla wrote, I like how they changed the R for an L in most words. The R has got to be in like the middle or the end of the word. You want to see a park? Palque. You want to see a boat? Balco. If the R's at the beginning of the word, Puerto Ricans will roll the f out of it. Ricky Martin. You say in Puerto Rico, it's like Ricky Martin. It's like it's got a little extra sazón. You got that like heavily rolled R at the beginning, which doesn't need to be there. There's not two of them. To clarify, Puerto Ricans aren't f***ing up our R's. We're just choosing not to say them sometimes because we're a chill ass island and you should come visit. We also recently talked about how Latinos navigate the internet, which looking back on it was really just a bunch of anecdotes about what my family does on the internet that pisses me off. But you all related, which is cool. So Guias Marel Chile wrote, you forgot the aunt that needs to reply to every single status that you post with cuídese, saludos a la familia. I have a few aunts that do this, but like my aunt started commenting on my stuff with QDTB. QDTB stands for que Dios te bendiga. May God bless you. It could be like a post about Trump. It could be a, a post about sexual health among gay men. I could probably post a video of me on the toilet for like seven and a half to 10 minutes. My grandma would probably comment on it with the exact same thing. Either like, cuídate pensando en ti, or que chuleria, que Dios te bendiga. I would kill for a simple LOL. Yeah. I would love that. David Cepeda writes, Latinos gotta stop liking their own post. It's like giving yourself a high five. <sighs> giving yourself a high five is like clapping. Do you have to? Like that? A lot of commenters will leave a post and then maybe like it. But here's the thing, how do you know they're the person liking it, right? Like someone out there maybe liked it. What about on Facebook? Oh, on Facebook? But what does that have to, oh, that's the thing Latinos do all the time? <laughs> I see everyone do that. I think that's just like a thirsty thing. If you wait long enough, someone will like it or your grandma will like it. She'll leave you a cutie TV and that's cute. This next comment is from The Not Adam, who's RJ Aguiar and on Flam all the time and I'm a huge fan, so I'm really glad he wrote. RJ wrote, uh, it's weird because I'm calling him by his first name. We haven't met yet. Hi. But wait, what if there are people who are trying to wish you a happy new anus? Um, and I would say I'm a single man in New York with a job and a sizable apartment. So, you know, I won't say no. That's it! Like, we're done with my first response video and it was really exciting and I'm having a great time doing them! A lot of you asked for my phone number or my Twitter handle. I'm only gonna give you one of those and that's my Twitter handle. At Gaybones. G-A-Y-B-O-N-E-Z. Talk to me. Hit me up on that Twitter. I'll see you later. I'm gone.